started the project? What? Oh, yeah, mm, well... Mm. What's the matter? Who are you talking to? Just... It, just someone who started texting me online a while back. I don't know. He seems really nice. And he's thinking we could go see a movie and... Sophia, you're not planning on meeting a stranger you met on the internet, are you? Mm. Hmm. Hello, children. Let's learn English together. From the conversation earlier, can you guess what is our topic today? Let me give you more clues. Online Share Information Personal Privacy And Password All these words are related to today's lesson. If your guess is related to online activity or safety, you're right. Our topic for today's lesson is online safety. Being connected to your friends, family, and everyone else online can be awesome. But nothing we do online is really private, including social media, text messages, and even the apps you use on your own phone. So here's our learning objective for today. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to learn words related to online safety, learn useful expressions to discuss about safety and privacy online with a friend, listen to an online safety conversation and answer questions based on the audio text. Let's start our lesson. I'm going to show you a poster about online safety. But before you see the poster, let's do the preparation activity. Look at these 10 words and phrases. You need to match them with the definition. Private To trust Take care Upsetting Online To know how To report Privacy settings Passwords To share And here are the definitions Take care means to be careful. To share means you want to show to other people. Private means for just one person or a small limited group. When we talk about privacy setting, it means the part of a social network site that allows you to control who sees your information. Next one. To report, it means to tell someone about. A password is a secret word or combination of letters and numbers. When you're online, it means you're on the internet. Upsetting means making you feel angry, worried or unhappy. To trust is to believe that someone is good and honest. And lastly, to know how means to have the information to be able to. Do you get it all correct? Good job, children! Now, look at this poster of 8 tips to stay safe online. Number 1. Be nice to other people online. Number 2. 
Take care with what you share. Number three, keep personal information private. Number four, check your privacy setting. Number five, know how to report post. Number six, keep your password safe. Number seven, never meet anyone in person you've only met online. And lastly, number eight, if you see anything online that you don't like or you find upsetting, tell someone you trust. All right, children. Based on what you understand from the poster, I need you to put the information into the correct groups. This activity can help you to develop critical thinking skills through classification. There are two categories. When you're online, do, and when you're online, don't, the do's and don'ts. Now, which of the following goes into each category? Write mean or horrible messages. Check your privacy setting regularly. Think before you share photos. Share bad photos of your friend. Talk to an adult if you have a bad experience online. Tell your friends your passwords. Be polite and kind to people. Meet anyone in real life that you met online. When you're online, do check your privacy setting regularly. Do this on all the sites you use and make sure that only your friends can see your post. Do you really want the whole world to see what you post online? Some things are best shared with just your friends, so keep your online profiles as private as you can and choose your online friends carefully. Think before you share photos. Take care with what you share. Don't post anything online that you wouldn't want your mom, your dad, or your grandmother to see. The moment you upload a video or a photo, it can be shared again and again and again, and it could be finally appear anywhere and be seen by anyone. Talk to an adult if you have a bad experience online. If you see anything online that you don't like, tell someone you trust. Nothing should make you feel uncomfortable or unhappy. Choose a friend, a parent, or a teacher and tell them what's happening. If they can't help you, tell someone else. Don't keep it to yourself, okay? Be polite and kind to people. Be nice to people online. You should treat people online in the same way as you treat people offline. When you're online, don't write mean or horrible messages. Remember, online comments can often be misunderstood. So be careful what you say to other people and how you say it. Respect the people you interact with and they should respect you too. Share bad photos of your friend. Don't be mean or embarrass other people 
online. Just like you, there's a real person attached to the screen name who has feelings too. Tell your friends your passwords. Keep your passwords safe. Don't share your passwords with your friends and make sure you choose passwords that are easy for you to remember but difficult for others to guess. Always include a number and some punctuation too. A question mark or a full stop makes your password much harder for someone else to guess. Meet anyone in real life that you met online. Most people you meet online will be normal, but sadly, there are people online who are not who they seem. People sometimes pretend to be different, much older or younger than their real age. And it's very easy to use a photo on a profile picture that isn't really you. So a girl could in fact be a boy or a boy could in fact be a girl. So don't take the risk and don't meet anyone in real life that you've only ever met online. So, how was it? Did you manage to classify all the information in the correct categories? Well done, children. Now, we're going to proceed to speaking activity. Imagine you're in this situation. You've noticed that one of your friends is sometimes taking risks online and you're worried about her. You decide to talk to your friend about it. Ask about these things. Sharing photos, interacting with other people, keeping things private, and personal information. You may use some of these phrases and use expressions. Do you think it's a good idea too? It's or it isn't a good idea too. How important is it too? It's very important too. Which personal information is it okay to share? Why should we? You should always or never. Make sure you always or never. Now, let's see how I discuss this matter with my friend Sophia. Sophia, internet may seem like a fantastic place, but you need to be careful. Why should I be careful? Do you think it's a good idea to share personal information, pictures or videos on the internet? There's a lot of dangerous people out there who want to spread hatred or find someone who's vulnerable. But you can't just tell me not to go online. The internet is a great place for me to explore my identity and share my art and writing. Well, the important thing is knowing how to go online safety. You should never trust strangers you meet online. They may not be who they have told you they are. But I've known him for a long time. Well, if you still want to meet him, it's best to meet in a public place and to not go alone. It's also very important to let someone else know exactly where you're going and who you are going to meet. You are right. It could be dangerous. I'm going to tell my parents about this. Thanks, Diana. Well, can you carry out a discussion like that? 
I'm going to give you a task. One of your friends wants to talk to you about how to stay safe online. Your friend is worried about a mutual friend who might be taking risk. Talk about these things. Sharing photos. Keeping password safe. Interacting with other people. Keeping things private. Personal information. You may use some of the words and phrases that we've learned earlier. You should always or never. For example, check your privacy settings. It's or it isn't a good idea to. For instance, write down your password. Make sure you always or never. For example, use your birth date as a password. And it's very important to clear your browser history. I hope you're able to discuss safety and privacy online matter with your friend using all the information that you've learned in this lesson. Don't be afraid to speak in English. Remember, practice makes perfect. Now, it's time for our listening activity. In this activity, you're going to listen to a conversation about online safety and do the exercises to practice and improve your listening skills. Before that, I want you to match these words to make common phrases. Alright children, let's see the phrases. Privacy setting. Social network site. Log in. Upload a photo. And stay safe. Now, you're going to listen to a conversation between a mother and son about online safety. When you listen, you have to choose true or false for these statements. Number one. Daniel's mother is doing something with his computer. 2. Daniel isn't locked in at the moment. 3. If you don't change your privacy settings, everyone can see your information. Number 4. It is easy to delete everything you put online. Number 5. Daniel's mother knows his password. And lastly, Number six, Daniel's notebook is in a secret place. Okay, are you ready? Let's begin. Mom, that's my computer. I know, I know. Don't worry, I'm changing your privacy settings. Privacy settings? Yes, there are privacy settings on your social networking sites. Your account is totally public at the moment and you're logged in. Oh, what are the privacy settings for? To make you safe online. You want to be safe, don't you? And for the right people to see your information, not everyone. Everyone? Yes, if you don't change your privacy settings, when you upload a photo, anyone can see it. It's important to change them so only your friends can see them. You don't want everyone to see everything, do you? No, but I can delete things, can't I? Well, you can, but it's very difficult. Some things stay there forever. That's really scary, Mum. Don't worry, but you must learn how to stay safe. You mustn't tell anyone your password. I won't. 
crazy Daniel 121, isn't it? Mom, yes it is. How do you know? It's on your notebook, right there. On your desk. It isn't a very secret place, is it? No, it isn't. Well, do you manage to get all the answers for the statement? Let's check your understanding. One, Daniel's mother is doing something with his computer. True. Two, Daniel isn't logged in at the moment. False. Three, if you don't change your privacy settings, everyone can see your information. True. Four, it is easy to delete everything you put online. False. Five. Daniel's mother knows his password. True. Six, Daniel's notebook is in a secret place. False. Now, you're going to listen to the audio again. This time, you need to match the two parts of the sentence. Mom. That's my computer. I know, I know. Don't worry. I'm changing your privacy settings. Privacy settings? Yes. There are privacy settings on your social networking sites. Your account is totally public at the moment and you're logged in. Oh. What are the privacy settings for? To make you safe online. You want to be safe, don't you? And for the right people to see your information, not everyone. Everyone? Yes, if you don't change your privacy settings, when you upload a photo, anyone can see it. It's important to change them so only your friends can see them. You don't want everyone to see everything, do you? No, but... I can delete things, can't I? Well, you can. But it's very difficult. Some things stay there forever. That's really scary, Mum. Don't worry. But you must learn how to stay safe. You mustn't tell anyone your password. I won't. Crazy Daniel 121, isn't it? Mom, yes it is. How do you know? It's on your notebook, right there. On your desk. It isn't a very secret place, is it? No, it isn't. Here are the sentences. You can just write A to F next to the numbers 1 to 6. Are you ready? Let's start. Now, let's see the answers for the second part. Daniel's account is totally public. Daniel's mom wants him to be safe online. Anyone can see Daniel's photos. Crazy Daniel 1 to 1 is Daniel's password. Daniel's password is in his notebook. Daniel's notebook is on his desk. Did you get full marks for all the questions? Excellent! Now, we've reached the end of our lesson. Let's recap on what you have done in this lesson. In the beginning of the lesson, you learned some vocabulary from a poster on how to stay safe online. You also learned how to discuss about safety and privacy online with your friend. And last but not least, you listen to an audio text and answer some questions based on the conversation. 
I hope you're not only able to improve your speaking and listening skills, but you also learn valuable lessons on how to stay safe online. See you again next time. Bye-bye.